First of all, why should the people of uh, Watford vote for Matt in uh, 2015? I think Matt Tomain is a brilliant candidate for Labour to choose for this crucial seat for the 2015 election. He's a local councillor based here, great um, professional and commitment to um, this, uh, this place. And look, Watford needs an MP who will campaign to actually get the hospital built which Labour promised, to get young people back to work, to build houses in the right place where the services are on the brownfield land, uh, to stand up for working people, to say, look, cutting top-rate tax only for the richest people while um, working people are seeing their incomes fall is not fair, and the Tories and the Liberal Democrats have got the wrong priority. And uh, it's a tough fight for us, but this is a seat we're going to win. Uh, if you were in power at the moment and you, you were in the Treasury, uh, what difference would the people of Watford see at the moment? Well, the, the economy is flatlined. It's ground to a halt in the last two and a half years. People's living standards are falling. I think the government's not got a plan on jobs. It's not got a plan for growth. And it's making people worse off as a result because the economy's failing. You've got to get the economy moving. That's the first priority. Also, we wouldn't be involved in this hugely destabilising um, break up of the National Health Service, which I think is going to really put our health service at risk. Watford needs a new hospital. It doesn't need chaos in the NHS. We wouldn't be cutting police numbers the way that's happening in Watford um, and across this part of the South uh, at the moment. And what we'd be doing is saying, look, cutting taxes for the richest and, uh, and then hitting working families with cuts to their tax credits, that's not fair. And people want change in the economy, they want a plan for jobs and growth to save our NHS and they want things to be done in a fair way. Uh, we really need to change because the Tories and the Liberal Democrats have just really lost their way in the last couple of years. And uh, you mentioned the hospital, obviously, um, well, a few weeks ago the new Chief Executive Watford General said the building's not fit for purpose um, anymore. If you were to come to power in 2015, uh, what assurances would the people of Watford have that they would have a new hospital under Labour? Well, we um, not only um, made the promise when we were in government, we allocated the money. We built more hospitals in the last uh, 13 years and it happened um, in the previous 20 years easily and Watford was going to get the new hospital and that was then taken away after the uh, general election. Watford needs a new hospital. It's only going to be guaranteed a proper NHS hospital with the Labour government. Um, there's lots of messing around at the moment, I'm told. Lots of confusion and chaos. Lots of uncertainty in Watford. It's not good enough. Uh, I came in the election campaign, I saw the old hospital, it needs to change and it needs to get better and um, that's what Matt's going to be campaigning for. And uh, lastly, Matt, obviously you've got two years ahead for the election, what are going to be the, the key parts of your campaign in the coming uh, weeks, months and years? Mm -hmm. Well firstly, I'm delighted to have been selected as the uh, PPC for Watford. I'm really looking forward to the fight, we've got two years to take the, uh, the government to task, the local MP to task and to make sure that we keep up our attack on the council. Um, I think the, pro the priorities have to be the hospital, as has already been mentioned. Uh, we've got to have growth. The austerity policies are not working. Growth is the way to pay off the deficit and to be able to get people off the unemployment register and back into work. Um, and in addition, we're going to need to make sure that we're, we're working really hard to solve the problems in the high street in Watford and get some of those shops back open again.